Hello and welcome to uh, the first video in my creative junk journaling. So this is just an introduction um, to basically what the video series is going to be and um, and how I've done junk journaling in the past. I'm going to show different different ways that I've junk journaled and basically this is all based on a class I was going to do with PlannerCon. It was a workshop and I'm going to have this listed um, on my blog. Uh, this is basically some different ideas on um, how to do creative junk journaling, how I've junk journaled in the past. The key to junk journaling is anything goes um, and I'll kind of get into that in just a moment but basically um, I was scheduled to teach at PlannerCon uh, 2020 but with the coronavirus and everything um, coming and out there and I was going to be traveling with my parents and we just opted not to it to go because of the um, the health and everything like that and the fact that it was going to take us two days to get there and we we're going to be going across states and staying in hotels you know all of that kind of thing so um, so basically um, I was going to do just a video on what I was going to teach in the workshop but as I sat down and kind of started looking at my list here I was like you know why don't I do a series of videos I we have time at home which is awesome for creativity and um, this will give me an opportunity to work on a couple of things that I've been wanting to do in my journals and then I can basically just hop on turn the video camera on and you guys can uh, watch the process in which I create um, in my journal so without um, without getting more into that basically um, this is just kind of what I was going to go over um, and again you can look at this online and it's just how to use junk journaling um, anything goes I mean and that's the thing that I really want to emphasize in this video series is that play around find things that you like if you like working with watercolor if you like working with acrylic paint if you like working with felt material markers um, anything just experiment see what what you have and that's the joy of junk journaling is anything goes um, anything you can get your stapler out you can put anything in there uh, memorabilia pictures um, newspaper journal cards any kind of thing like that so that's that's kind of what junk journaling it is it's like you're literally taking just ephemera and junk not junk but like papers and all different things and adding it to your um, whatever you're going to be using for your journal and that's kind of what I'm going to talk about today is um, the different things that I've used in the past for journaling and I'm going to show you samples of those so I've used a traveler's notebook which is what I currently use now um, altered book which I'll show you that um, I've definitely for the past two years I've used my Christmas um, a um, a little golden book which I can show you I'm going to show you that and there's also a series uh, video series of me doing some um, if you're wanting to look at more videos there is Christmas related but there's definitely that um, you can use a spiral notebook and then I, I put smash book in here and I hadn't looked at the smash book that I put together in so long because it's kind of like one of those projects that I started and I st stuffed and did a bunch of things to it but it's so fat and I didn't quite finish it up so it was kind of fun getting that back out to show you guys um, that so without um, talking more oh and the other thing I want to do in this video series is kind of like try to keep them short and sweet um, I am I always refer to my videos like um, uh, Julia Child where if she dropped the chicken on the floor she just picked it up and continued and didn't cut that out so that's kind of how my videos are um, I don't do a lot of editing at all and so I basically what you see is what you get because um, I'm always on a time crunch and but I want to get my 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 information out there so sometimes with that being said the videos long, run a little longer so I'm really gonna try to keep them short and sweet so that you guys can um, watch them and then go and create as well and experiment on you know different things so um, so let's go ahead and let's look at travelers notebooks I'm gonna show you oops show you guys um, a couple ways that I've done my travelers notebook so I I basically have um, I carry this around with me and typically I have two months worth in here this um, because I'm always kind of playing a little bit of catch up a lot of times I, I journal a lot with photos and so I'm I am I do use my little um, Ivy Canon printer but mostly uh, I use Walgreens which is a local 
pharmacy here um, and I can do it on my phone and submit them and have them um, um, go pick them up. But I know there's definitely some online um, per Perninsky photos. I, I know they, they're really good about uh, shipping them to you. But I'm always trying to do a little kind of catch up on this. So right now um, we're in March and I have my February uh, journal in here. So as you can see, I'm still filling in some of the pages and those kind of things. Um, but anything goes, you can add material. What I do is these are journals that I have in the shop and I just now recently started um, selling junk journals, which has like five different assortments of pages and it has dictionary pages, book pages, children's book page, um, and then like a couple of different kind of card stocks in there. But I know I have a video also on how to take it apart and um, and put a reassemble um, this to where you can add whatever pages you want in there. So this oh cookbook pages. This has a cookbook page, and I think I also when I created this particular um, journal, I took it apart and put it and put it together online. So this is just really recently. If you want to kind of go back and view that as well. Um, this is my current one that I'm currently working on. I didn't do a uh, flip through of this one at the beginning because I I did a little something different with this one. Is um, since I thought I knew I was going to be so busy this month, um, which now ends up being one of the least busiest, which is awesome. I think um, is I uh, basically I put it together when we went to. Um, um, Crafty Destinations Retro Hip Mama uh, at the glamping in here in Texas. So that was really fun because I literally like I put I already have this week's made up and every week I had it already set up. So this is like torn paper, my stamps and stickers to make up each week. This is the current week that we're on right now. So um, again, I'm going to kind of this is one of the projects that I do want to kind of show you guys how I did this um, and probably um, part of one of the things that I show on the video is to set up for April um, because it is a week and a half, two weeks away I believe, a week and a half away from April so I'll probably go ahead and show you guys how I'm going to set that up but so I use a traveler's notebook for each month um, and I've done that for a while um, at least for the past two years I've done that um, I also have um, used um, different ones. Um, this is kind of one that I started last year, I believe. Uh, and so I've, I've, you know, like I said, you can use watercolor. I did lots of watercolor. This was one back where I was kind of just journaling. I wasn't particularly using one per month, but now I start one. Um, I have it all set up where it works perfectly with the weeks. Um, and I use one traveler's notebook per month. Um, here's another one um, that I did again. Oh, this is one that I used for. Okay, never mind. So this is another one that I've I've used. This is watercolor in the back. Um, so this is another one that I had used for month. This what I was looking at is I go I follow Allie Edwards um, a week in a life, but this was just a day in a life because there's only one. Um, one insert in here so we must have just been documenting one day so that kind of gives you an idea of um, of the way that I document and um, journal so that's my traveler's notebook this is this is what I'm currently using um, to to journal and what I like about these two is they they're great for like if you wanted to make one for a trip you could do one for just taking it on um, a trip with you. So, like, say, for instance, we are scheduled to go. I don't know with things the way they are. We're scheduled to go to Washington, D.C. and New York in June. And I want to make up my own book to carry along with my other journal. But just make it, since I'll be doing lots of photos and lots of documentation for that trip. So, I'll just use One Traveler's Notebook for that. Um, okay, so the next one I have on here is an altered book. So I have a couple, I have this one. I'm, I'm going to show you a couple of those. And this one is um, one that I used for a, um, 
Chamel. Um, we used to do a learn something new every day. So this is one, and you can tell it's like nice and fluffy. It's full. I just love, love, love these pages in here. And so this was documenting, this was actually back in 2012, but this is documenting um, something that you've learned that day. And of course, I wanted to add all sorts of um, layers of ephemera in there in different ways, like this library card. So, and on this particular uh, book, th if, it, if you recognize it, it's one of those um, Reader's Digest old books that you can buy that have those really fun, funky covers to them. And I just ripped the, the binding out. Didn't This is so you can just still see it kind of um, loose there. But I ripped the binding out and I um, punched holes with my crocodile. This is an excellent um, tool to have for when, you're, when you are going to be doing some altar books. I use it on my little golden books. I use it, actually I used it in my Traveler's Notebook this last week, this last month as well too. So I highly suggest this. You can get it at Hobby Lobby and use your coupon on it. Um, they have different ones but it basically just it will put it's got a really thick punch um, that will that will get through those uh, like chipboard and things like that that are really thick um, and they also do it also has a tool on the end here to do these little eyelets so that's pretty handy as well um, let me see if it shows okay so the eyelets are only oh yeah so they kind of did punch through here so, um, so this kind of, this is just what I've done with this. I cut uh, scrapbook pages uh, to match, or you could do like a little pocket here. This is a little pocket. Um, this was a little file folder pocket and a tag. So you can add different things in this. These are the just those little binding um, book rings, and you can just add your pages as you go along. Um, you can, this looks like a bag or, yeah, this is a bag from Starbucks. Um, book pages, this is an old book page. Um, I just love that. <laughs> Isn't that cute, them dancing? Um, so yeah, so endless possibilities of different type of, you could do, um, um, any kind of like, you could add a bag, like I have this little bag here, you could punch the holes in there and it becomes a pocket. So these altar books are really fun because again they have the rings here and you can add anything um, that you that you like in there. So there's one altered book, and the other one is my Christmas one from 2018. And again, this is the same concept as far as um, adding the the ring uh, the book rings. Here's some acetate paper that you can add in there. Um, oh, here's another idea is um, you're able to punch like programs and put those in there. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? Just different, um, j lots of opportunities with these, with an altered book. And basically for the cover for this one, it's just the little golden book cover. So this is the, the front, front one and this is the back. And I just basically covered it. Um, in this particular one I put um, we had found some wrapping paper that actually I think Zachary my son must have wrapped the presents in this because um, this is a tag from him but again you have endless possibilities here's another little program to uh, an event that I went to um, a Christmas card you can add a Christmas card here's another program so there's lots of different ideas that you can use um, when you're when you use these altered books. And what's fun about this is, like for example, I have um, I go to anytime that there's like thrift stores or anything like that or, or garage sales. If I see a book called Rebecca on Sunnybrook Farm because that's what I'm named after, I pick that book up. So it would be kind of fun to like use one. I it's out of print, so. I don't cut those books up, but I have several of them, but it would be fun to like do that to one of these books um, as well. So um, so that's an altered book. Um, let's see here. My next suggestion is a planner. So the planner that I'm talking about, which you can use a happy planner. I thought about doing that with a happy planner, or you can use your ring bound planner. Um, even my um, passion planner, I've like put... Um, 
like material in there. I've put um, just like, you know, lace. You could put, this is one that I'm working on. Lace, you can add material in there. You can do all sorts of different things. Um, here's some pom-pom. This is like one of my favorite additions to uh, pages. Um, so again, there's endless possibilities that if it is not a ring bound um, planner or journal or anything like that that you can use. So this is my, this is one that I absolutely love. It's gorgeous, it's fun, it brings me inspiration. This is kind of my inspiration um, planner, but I have a, this is, what I'm gonna be doing next is I have another planner that I'm going to be doing an event so I want to kind of create one that I can start adding different things that I want to do at that event different inspirations and so that's something that I'm going to be doing a video a part of the series as well is prepping one so that you can see it from beginning to end so this is one that I put together um, I think it might be a couple years ago I think I have a flip through of it on on my YouTube um, you just have to kind of go through it but this is um, I want to say this must have been not this year, but last year. Um, and I hear my pokey wants to come inside, so I may have to get him out here in just a minute. But um, this is basically just different things that inspire me. I've cut, I've painted in here. I've added my Alice because you know she's always an inspiration to me. This is full of different kind of things. Um, let's see here. I got my little cute little teacup charm but teapot charm but this is like a little envelope I made that has different bits and pieces of ephemera in there um, for if I get a moment I have that on hand so this is just kind of a like I said it just inspires me I did a um, I did a kit on um, on Girl Scouting and glamping and so that was part of my inspiration. So I just add, here's a little note cards in here. So it's just really adding things that make you happy. And I love just flipping through this and I love adding things to this. And you could add notes, um, just little quotes that you like or things that you want to tell yourself. You mustn't be afraid to sparkle a little brighter. You know, it's just really, really fun to add things that inspire you that that when you can flip through this this just makes you smile it makes you want to make ideas for yourself and plans and um i love this card so it was like something that i would add in here here's a postcard that i loved um i love these little um vellum envelopes with the sparkle in there so it's just different things um, and then lots of places for notes or adding more things so this is this I love this so let me show you what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be creating another one with this and it's not exactly the same size as a personal but it it's one that I've picked up um, actually I didn't pick it up a friend of mine sent it to me uh, and it's just like a cute little size and so I'm gonna doll this one up for this is one we're gonna do on a video I think this is the next video I want to do is taking this and make and making dividers for it and getting it ready for me to plan out this special event that I'm working on so um, anyway so that will be something that um, I'll show you going from this to all this prettiness so this will be another um, that's another form of the way that I kind of like to junk journal and I have spiral notebook on here and I don't really um, have a spiral that I've worked on so I thought I would show you where I've taken chipboard and made a journal um, I think I'm going to do a flip through on this one on my um, in my stories because this one is one that I made again this is a learn something new every day it's basically made out of the chipboard I know you used to be able to buy this at Hobby Lobby I'm not I haven't seen it in a while I know I bought several up because I used to make journals out of this um, but I um, I haven't seen it in a while but this is a um, this is another learn something new every day from 2011 and what I want to what I, why I want to show this also on my Instagram is because and I've done a video on this one, but it's been a while. Um, is this was one that when we went through our family, um, we had a big fire here in Bastrop um, area. And that's when I lived in Bastrop. We don't live in that house anymore. But um, it shows basically um, 
every day what we went through with that and it kind of reminds me a little bit of this whole corona thing i mean everybody at least they are stuck in their houses but i don't know just different things like it's just kind of interesting to look back at how you really start looking at how blessed you are so this was our house in all the smoke and area so this is kind of just something that just to keep in mind that even though you feel like I remember just being so stressed we lived in a hotel for a while and things like that but I documented every single day um, just little things like it's okay to answer to ask for help we didn't know when we were gonna get back in our house at one point we you know when it first happened this was all the burnt trees so I mean it's just kind of interesting to look back at now I mean I remember it being such a huge deal during this time and as time went on it got a lot better so this was just one way of documenting something that's going on in your life that's um you know that can be that's traumatic or that you're experiencing and sometimes just documenting about it helps and so this was um so this was one um um <laughs> Today I learned life does go back to normal. So that's just something um, to keep in mind. But also I wanted to show you how to make another journal just out of this chipboard um, that you can decorate up. This might have been a special kind of chipboard now that I see the outside of it. But So that's another way. But I also showed a spiral. And again, it's just you can... Uh, what else did I have I used before? Um, and I should have put, pulled one out was the... Um, I love the composition books. Those are great. I glue two pages together to make them a little bit thicker and those work great and they are perfect for journaling. They have lines in them. I, I really, if I wasn't doing a traveler's notebook, I probably would keep a composition book as my journal. So that's one idea. And then the last, but of course not least, is the one that I was talking about my, my, um, this smash book and I don't know if you guys remember the smash books um, they were real popular a while back I think 2011 maybe let's see if we have a date in here this was 2012 now I know it's gonna really probably seem really weird but the only reason I did not really care for the smash books was listen it they they squeak to hear that <laughs> I know that sounds crazy but it's true they squeak when I turn the pages and it just you know how little things like just kind of go Ugh, like nails on the chalkboard the squeakiness of those pages does that to me <laughs> weird I know so what I used to do so this was back in 2012 what I used to do is that on Thursdays I would pick different places because I worked in Austin I would pick different places in Austin or the surrounding areas or I would do it on a weekend too but I would post about it that was back when I was blogging a lot um, and I would post it on Thursdays it was called touristy Thursday and so basically I would um, document and of course me being a journaler um, I would document okay this is just an old book here I would document different things um, that I would go see. So, for instance, there's a O. Henry um, Museum. And it was really interesting because I would find out different things about them. So, I would write, I would, and I would write different things um, just about that particular museum. This is smack dab in the middle of downtown Austin. It's just a little bitty building. And it's just a little, and who would have known that it was a, um, it was a uh, museum, so I went there and would write about it, go and visit it. And sometimes, like I said, I would get the pictures, but I think this had quilts in it or something. But I wouldn't actually get a chance to document. This was another one that we that I went to the Friends Liaison Museum, and I would document about that. Um, this was a really cool one. This was a um, Emporium Bakery that we would that I went and visited down by the Capitol. You can actually see the Capitol. And if you guys ever get to Austin, go to this place. You wouldn't think it's anything. It's Caddy Corner, and um, it's very very interesting. It's got great photos. So yeah. So this is sometimes I would visit places that did handmade, um, handmade items. Um, did the Sugar Shack? I don't know what this was. Um, oh, the, oh, okay, this was the Sugar Shack. Okay, now one, that was in Bastrop, but some of the things like Treaty Oak in Austin, but 
the sad thing about it now that I look back is see if you hear the squeaking just drives me crazy is a lot of these places Austin has grown so much and they're just not paper sources still around of course but they're just not as unfortunately some of these places aren't surviving the growth you know it's um, it's actually very sad now the garden places this is a restaurant you know um, a lot of these places are still down there the big top that's really cute hay cupcake is still around in Austin so um, so yeah so this was just kind of a fun like I said I didn't complete it took lots of pictures um, and I still need to go in and kind of um, you know document but I kind of like I said you know how things come and go and um, we don't have scrap this scrapbook store anymore but I was really doing it also as a way of kind of like blogging and promoting um, different place different things to do in Austin so but it's fun to look at she's not any she's that was one of my favorite um, antique shops but she's not there anymore so scrap uh, so Smashbook and I know they don't carry um, they don't really have them anymore too much um, yeah, I know I can I'll see them like at Tuesday mornings every once in a while or some of those discounted stores but they are fun to use if you can just get past the squeaky um, <laughs> I know it sounds so silly the squeaky um, um, spiral so those are some forms of junk journaling that I do endless possibilities one of the things I'm working on I just saw it over here because this is going to be one of the projects that I show on a video um, is this Alice in Wonderland um, I'm going to be adding different things to it this is my inspiration for decorating and craft projects so um, um, I, I also want to use this as a way of having inspiration where it's at my fingertips. I want to carry this with me um, so that I love looking at pretty things. And so anything that inspires me, I want to put in here. So that's, I'm going to, I'll show you guys um, in the process of doing that um, in my video series. So I'm going to wrap this up really quick. I don't know how many minutes it's been, but um, another thing I just wanted to talk about really quickly here is um, when you look at this list on number four, it talks about different things to add to your junk journaling. This is going to be kind of a guide for me to go off of when I do my videos. So just keep that in mind that um, I'm probably going to be using some of these techniques on here to talk about and to show you guys. So, all right, well, I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you guys are inspired to create as well um, to, and remember there is no mistakes. You just have fun with it. If you, if it ends up turning out to be like awful, you move on. You say awful page, turn the page and you move on to the next one. Um, I love telling that your story. I think it's important um, um, because like I said, even with these little touristy thirsty things, it was it's fun just to kind of go back and read stories and learn about people and um, and it's fun to look back on yourself and and things that you might have learned or forgotten about or documented about yourself and um, so anyway, that's a wrap and we will see you in my next video.